sur le drive. Euh... Good evening and welcome to a conversation with the Mutts. I'm Mutt. And I'm Mrs. Mutt. And this conversation is about the historic triangle here in Virginia. Um, we decided to do that um, last week. Um, well, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. I'm sorry. I, and I do apologize, folks. Last week, I just was not feeling up to par. I was not going to do a... Lackluster. Neither of us. Yeah, neither I have was, an issue too. Yeah. So we apologize. Um, but we're here this week, so here we are. Um, the historic triangle consists of Jamestown, um, Yorktown, and, and Colonial, Colonial Williamsburg. Williamsburg. Yes, or trying... Williamsburg itself. Yeah. But uh, Colonial Williamsburg is a living history uh, museum. Correct. Um, I kind of liked what one of the narrators of one of the videos said. Most people, when they think of the founding of this country, they think of the pilgrims and, May, and the Mayflower. And that was 20 years after, 20 or so years after Jamestown was actually settled. It was actually chapter two. Jamestown and Williamsburg and, and that were always they, they were always they had they were the first chapter there were several other failed uh, colonial attempts um Maine had a failed colonial attempt the Spanish tried to uh tried in Florida and th they had a failed attempt um there was a pre a pre that was the one in Florida that, well don't no, there was another one that uh, tried that before the priest with soldiers, well, and then the priest tried, tried without soldiers. soldiers. Right, right, right. So yeah, that was kind of interesting. You're going to go in there without, and, and uh, understandably, you know, they're going to try it without soldiers after what the <coughs> soldiers did. Soldiers did down in South America to the Mayans and the Inca, Incas. Um, so I get that, but I, I think it was already predestined and, to well, fail. Even what was it? We did Roanoke, and then when that failed, when that failed, then they they were like, no, we need to go north. Yeah, they actually, yeah, they ended up going north into uh, what is uh, now known as Cape Hope, um, or or uh, I believe it's Cape Hope. The, I, I don't know. I just know that they went up north. around Jamestown. Uh, so, yeah. Um, they ended up settling Jamestown simply because it was a, it had two rivers. It was on high ground. They could dock. They could. And it had a deep water port. Right. Deep water port. Yeah. They could defend it easily because they could see yes. what was coming at them. Yes. Um, there were several advantages to where at that location. And at the time, Pocahontas's father, um, Powhatan. Powhatan, was familiar with the um, English. I, I, the idea of colonization. Um, and, and of course, there's always the, the big story behind Pocahontas and, and Captain John Smith. Uh, I kind of found some interesting information about him that I thought was kind of interesting. I did not know that he had actually been a pirate prior to. Yeah, it was actually in one of the videos uh, that we were watching. You must have missed it. And uh, he actually did some pirating uh, before he got his commission um, and ended up as one of the crusaders in one of the last crusades in, I believe it was Hungary um, or Turkey. And um, made his way back this is, to Spain. This is not and from Thanksgiving. Spain. Hungary and Turkey. Hungary and Turkey, yeah. And made his way back to Spain. And from Spain, he went back to England. Uh, well, by that point, they considered him a grizzled, hardened soldier. So they made him the, they were going to make him the president of the colony when they arrived in Virginia. <laughs> Oddly enough, when they arrived in Virginia, he was arrested. He had been he had been arrested and was under trial for mutiny. Um, 
but because he was listed as the, they had to let him they had yeah. to let him go yeah it was, it was a weird story um you know and of course then there's the whole myth about pocahontas and him falling in love he was in his 30s and she was a child yeah well, that does happen but and, uh, you know, there was I, I heard something about her weeping over his body but didn't he die in england he died in well she died in england but wasn't she here when he died, I and then so. Rolf came back? Yeah, and she ended up marrying John Rolf, uh, and ended up dying in England because Rolf took her there. Uh, Called Rebecca. Yes, Rebecca Rolf was her Christianized name. She had accepted Christianity, um, at least in name, uh, and ended up dying in a place called uh, Christchurch in England. Uh, the location of her grave is unknown because they had a fire at Christ Church shortly after she passed. She was only 21 when she died. Mm. So she was, so yeah, the whole myth about her and John, that was, I mean, when you're only 21 when you die, it's kind of a, you know, nah, it just doesn't work that way. Um, I mean, I guess it could, but it would be kind of, yeah. But as far as the, triangle itself goes uh williamsburg uh which i have been to all three of the cities listed in the triangle i've been to jamestown i've been to yorktown and i've been to williamsburg uh most recently i would probably say i was in yorktown and that's been the better part of 10 years since i've been there um i have a friend who is an archaeologist in Yorktown, who actually um, was doing a dig in one of the churches. He was actually married. When he got married, he was married in the church they were doing the dig, and it was the first wedding they'd had in that church in 250 years. Mm, wow. Yeah, it, made a, it was a big deal in the papers around here. Yay, she's here, she's here. Um... So, yeah, it was a big deal. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, Yorktown was, I mean, not Yorktown, Williamsburg was basically settled to establish the the College of William and Mary. No, it was the College, well, you know, the College. Well, I mean, like, that was a large part of it. first. Right. The College did come first. You're right. Um, it was established around the College. The college. Yeah, that's true. And it's still very the much, original college town. Yeah, the original <laughs> college town. Yeah, that's that's true. It was the original college town. Um, what I found another thing that I found interesting about Williamsburg or Colonial Williamsburg. Oh, bless you. Excuse me, folks. I'm sorry. And then let me let me clarify. There are. There is the town of the, or the city of Williamsburg, and then there is Colonial Williamsburg. Which Colonial Williamsburg is the Living, Living New, History New Museum. Museum. Yes. And I have actually heard it referred to as the world's largest living history museum. Yes. It, that, that is. That is I the, want to say I heard 30 acres. Something like that. Yeah. It's something like 30 acres. Um, hey, McGregor. How are you, McGregor? Um, yeah, what I found interesting was it was pretty much, it had pretty much laid dormant for a long period of time, uh, until, um, it was buried Rockefeller. I think it was one of the Rockefellers decided that they were going, he was going to invest a large piece of, well, it was, it change. was buried. Yeah. And they ended up discovering some of the foundations right. of the houses and right. such. Right. Um, some of the buildings had at least somewhat sustained the stand or made made it through. Right. Um, but yes, the Rockefellers were major and still are major. Yeah. Um, they are, for example, still tied to the museum of art for yes. example their name is on the museum of art yes 
and they don't receive any federal money. The, yeah, the, the, no, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah. No, they don't Colonial receive Colonial Williamsburg, New, Williamsburg right. the museum, nothing. No, no, the, yeah, they don't receive it. It doesn't receive any federal money. All their money comes from their ticket sales and such. Right. Which I, I, I think is kind of a, an interesting idea. That way you don't have the federal government poisoning the poisoning the well uh, yeah. of information, if you will. Um, not, that, not that our government would ever do that, folks. Um, conspiracy theorists, sorry, had a moment. Um, <laughs> you know, it, it, the, the Colonial Williamsburg, the Living Museum, is a, what is it, a mile long and the uh, ring the, road? The one man, yeah. Um, Duke of Gloucester Street, I believe. Is I it. believe so. Yeah, the Duke of Gloucester Street is a mile long. Uh, it has the president of the governor's palace, the, the, the colonial no, governor's, the governor's palace. palace actually isn't on. I thought it was at one end. The courthouse is. I thought the governor's palace was on one end and William and Mary was on the other. No, it's not the palace that's on there. It's something else. Okay. Because the palace is off there. McGregor says, hey, Miss Mutt. Um, hey, McGregor. Um, go ahead it has the courthouse it has the restaurant we both want to go to the uh arm king of Ar king's king's arms king's arms tavern arms tavern king's arms tavern which was which, free was frequented by george washington madison um Hen uh, patrick henry uh it was quite it was it was um was frequented by them often. They have so many. I mean, they have authentic shots. Yes. Everything they do is as authentic as possible while still being presentable. Right. Um, they actually have, I was, I thought this was so cool. The video I watched this evening, they had a woman. In the blacksmith. Hmm. Yes. A female blacksmith. Well, she would have been, that would have been completely accurate during the war because the men yeah. would have gone. Yeah. That would so have women would have had to have taken over the jobs. Yeah, that would have been accurate so, during the revolution. Yeah. To a degree. Um, but they have one that was at the time of that video, they had one that was working in the shop. That's interesting. I, I, I missed and they that video. Don't do just metal work in no, it. No. It's leather work and also there's like a dozen things that they do in that shop. Right. So I was just amazed to see. Yeah, I I have been to uh we used to take school trips uh to Williamsburg on a regular basis. It's literally only about an hour from where we live. Um and they're only the three the three towns are what 20 miles apart roughly i know ballparkish ballparkish because i know well, i've heard that the jamestown museum and the yorktown museum were 23 or 28 miles apart oh, they're 23 because uh those mm -hmm. two you can actually buy one ticket and get admission to both okay yeah um and then and, uh, it's yeah. a deal. It's yeah, a it's, deal. A, it's a real deal. We're actually looking into uh, for, for Virginia residents. Uh, they have, they have several deals throughout the course yeah, of the year. Yeah, they have special deals. For and Virginia we are looking. Uh, we are considering uh, purchasing because uh, it would be. I think it would behoove. <laughs> it's okay, McGregor. I I can't remember squat either. I'm we're doing this off the cuff tonight. I haven't taken any notes this week. I've been neither little, of us have. Uh, we're both because we're a little under the weather. Have, neither one of us has taken any notes, but we've been watching a lot of videos. So we're a lot of this stuff comes. I, I will tell you, all you have to type in is a historic triangle. Or Williamsburg, or Jamestown, or Yorktown, and or stuff. Or Colonial Williamsburg. Or Colonial Williamsburg, and stuff will pop up left, right, and center. There's all sorts of videos out there. 
Uh, um, one of the things I found that I have seen up there yeah. is that at Christmas, mm. they decorate with the wreaths, mm -hmm. but they will put a pineapple in the, in middle, the middle, middle of, of the wreath. wreath. Right. And I was, I did do some reading on that. And it mm -hmm. says that the pineapple is actually a Christian and of Christian and imperial significance. Uh, each pineapple plant gives its own life to produce a single fruit. Hmm. So a, one pineapple plant only gives one fruit. Really? And since 1681, the pineapple has been recognized as a Christian symbol. Around this time, Christopher Wren began using pineapple finials on churches. Hmm. Um, and they say that... Um, they also recognize the pine cone as a Christian symbol. Yeah, I did know that. And because the exterior of the fruit resembles the pine cone, and the sweet fruit was similar to the texture and taste of an apple, which I don't see the taste being similar to an apple, uh, the name was changed from its original, Anana. Anana? Anana. Huh. The pineapple. Um... You learn something every day, folks. Let's see where it says. This is about the subject of artists. They say that um, because of the, it was a, a um, a sign of high hospitality. Yes, I did. I have heard that before. Um, so you were considered to be a very special guest, very honored if you were served pineapple. Well, because they are so rare, especially in this area. Not to mention, oh, goodness, the... Lord Dunmore and the pineapple. <laughs> Lord Dunmore, we won't even talk about him. Uh, at his estate near Earth. He I constructed a formal garden and garden house, which he construct he transformed into an architectural folly, a 37 foot tall pineapple. <clears throat> he didn't get to enjoy it for very long, folks. I guarantee you. But yeah, I've always been kind of so yeah, they they do. They put pineapple and there's as far as art, there's pineapple in everything from objects, buildings, wallpaper, oh, yeah. dishes, fabrics, you'll find it in stonework, it's everywhere. You'll find it in stonework. You'll find it on um, doors, carved in door knockers. They said that ships manifest. Let's see, diaries from the sixteen from the late sixteen hundreds. Mentioned gifts of pineapples presented to the king. Ships manifest from the late 17th century contain lists of pineapples making their way from Barbados and Bermuda to England, often rotten mm. upon arrival. Mm. They just didn't. They weren't able to preserve yeah. them. Here we go. The sweetness and unusual appearance of the pineapple and its association with fertility and agriculture made it a sought-after delicacy in colonial America. When it was served to guests, they were naturally flattered at the honor and thus may have evolved into the idea that the pineapple was considered a sign of the highest form of hospitality. And I, I can vouch that there are... A multitasking, getting through the dryer, dryer to finish, finish cooking and playing games. <laughs> okay, as long oh, as you're li as long as you're listening and as long as you hit the like button, we're good. Please, <laughs> folks, hit the like button. Um, you are a multi talented individual, adorable. I will say that. Um, we the one I'm looking forward to going to, to be honest, and we are planning on doing this, do, doing this trip for our honeymoon. Um, <laughs> next year. Yeah, we're not planning to go far, but we're going to love going. Yeah, and we're planning on taking advantage of some of the ticket specials. Yes, yes, we are. 
I'm really eager to hop on one of the boats there at uh, Jamestown. Jamestown. Now, see, I, I have been to mm -hmm. Yorktown and right. I have been to Colonial Williamsburg. But you've never been to But Jamestown. I have never been to Jamestown. And I am so looking forward to not only the ship, mm -hmm. but the village. Yep. All well, villages. No, well, villages. The, the reconstructed fort. Right. And the village. Yeah, the uh, the Palatan village. Yes. Um, what is it here? I've seen some people interacting. The times gone by. Life uh, is hard. More real. Milk. The cow. Uh, there you go, Mac. I was watching a video again earlier today. And they had a gentleman who was chopping the heck out of pork. I mean, mincing it. They were using a recipe from the late 1600s from a book that they had found mm -hmm. to make pork sausage. Hey, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. No casing. They just made it. Uh, patty. Uh, patty? Yeah. 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 Uh, that, homemade pork sausage. That's one of the things that you will see out there, uh, especially in like um, James. I don't know as much about Yorktown, but I know in Jamestown and in Colonial Williamsburg, they do have a lot of the bakers and, and mm -hmm. that sort of thing out in the open so that they can show you how they did things back then. Um, You'll see a lot of the women who are make, dipping candles and making candles. And or... I know with the tickets at Col Colonial Williamsburg has areas that you can go for free. Then there's also areas where you have to have a ticket to go into. Like the like the horse drawn carriages, you need to go early in the morning. Right. Well, that get... from what I understand, you have to pay extra to get. Well, that we're without. doing that. That's I'm, fine. I'm taking you. On That's fine. Horse carriage. But there's areas. That you have to pay, you have to have a ticket to to get access to, like that, that concert I was telling you yeah. about. Yep. The, there was there was a concert of Irish music on the sixteenth of March mm -hmm. to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. That having a ticket would have gotten us to. Right. Um, well, that makes sense. It's right. a separate event. But there's also event daily things. Areas, right. for example, like the governor's palace. Right. If you don't have a ticket, you can't get into and tour inside. Right. I knew that. Right. And there's also certain um I don't want to say displays. What's Exhibits? The um they're doing something. Demonstrations. Ah. There's certain demonstrations that you can't get to without that ticket. Wait a minute. Are those considered national parks? No. No, they're not. They're because they're not they're not government funded, they're privately funded. Now I will tell you, adorable, that the Yorktown battlefield and there's something at Jamestown that is considered a national park and you do get free entry with that mm -hmm. pass because I saw it uh I saw about the Yorktown thing today and I know I've done that with uh or pardon me I saw that about Jamestown today and I've done that with Yorktown in the past. I know I just it, have to get I know Williamsburg is not government no that Yorktown or Williamsburg is not no um I believe Yorktown is because it well, and I didn't even think about this. Williamsburg also covers both the Confederate, the the Revolutionary War, but it also covers the um, battle, some of the Civil War, right? Which what I was a little surprised I had now, forgotten about. Also, adorable. Keep in mind that that National Park Pass does not cover the museums at Jamestown and Yorktown. Those are separate. Right. The museum. So, for example, going to Yorktown, it will cover the, the Yorktown battlefield and that welcome center. But it will not cover the Yorktown Museum. 
which is yeah, completely. However, it, which one is it that allows free entry for those with disabilities? That's what she's talking about. Okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure that I had my facts covered. It says for the permanently disabled uh, that I saw at the uh, Jamestown, the signage at Jamestown. I don't think they really make a distinction as long as you can prove that you're, if they ask for proof, as long as you can yeah, prove Yeah, I think as long as you've got like your. As long as you can show your awards letter, which you can do that, as long as you've got a smartphone, you can pull <clears> that up <throat> on your phone. Pretty much, yeah. Um, I'm, but I'm looking to go, you know, taking that, they, they go out for an hour and then they, and then they come back. So it's an hour out and then an hour back on oh, the, the ship on yeah. the ships there at Jamestown. I'm kind of really looking forward to that. Yeah, if, uh, if we can do that, that if, would be yeah, wonderful. that would be great. I, I, Which I think that that was. I think they take the Susan B. Constance out. I don't think it's the Susan B. I don't think it was the Susan Constance, and it's not the Discovery. I think it's the. Godspeed. Yes, I think it's the Godspeed. Really? Okay, I thought they took this. I thought I saw a video where they took the Susan B. out, but I could be wrong. Um, I know they take one of them out because it's an hour. They they take you out for out on the the James to there. Yeah, and then they come back. So yeah, you're getting like basically a two hour tour uh, aboard the ship, and they kind of show you how they did things back then. Um, what I found amazing was that how small those ships really were in some of those videos. And they had, what was it, 15 man crew plus mm. 50 other people. So it right. was a and total the, of like 70 I people. I think part of the reason they take do the, the Godspeed mm -hmm. is because if I remember it with the video that we were watching today, they mm -hmm. said the Godspeed was the passenger. Yeah. Mm, okay. So the other two would have been cargo. I got you. That you can go for disability proof. Uh, that way, if I get pulled over, if the fact my car is Isn't altered, altered enough, she can show her card. Yeah, I got you. Um, we're still looking yeah, into our, all that. Our, to my knowledge, our state doesn't. I mean, my ex has a suicide knob on when he drives. Because he has to. He has hand controls to operate the right, pedals. Right. So he has to use a suicide knob. I, not that I know he's ever gotten pulled over, but I don't think the officers would give him a, a problem because they would see the hand controls right. sticking out the column. I know that my kid's godfather also has a suicide knob on his car because he has CP and his hands are, mm -hmm. his hand is defective. Um, or deformed, or however you want to put it. I'm not trying to be, but yeah. Um, no bridges hit back then. Nope, 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 nope. We're not even going to go there. We're not going there. I'm not going there, adorable. Not doing that it. Wasn't, that wasn't McGregor. Oh, McGregor, I'm not going there. But you're right. No bridges hit back then. At least not to that level. Um, I know that my kids have been to Jamestown. Uh, their grandparents took them. Um, and I, I'm jealous of your kids. They've gotten to go everywhere between your your folks and schools and everything. I have proven to grown up here. I have proven to 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 Mrs. Mutt that I am not related to everyone. Uh, she was asking. Darn close to it. She was asking me who I wasn't related to because I was like, oh, related to them. Oh, related to them. And so I started pointing out people I wasn't related to. As we were watching these things and they were mentioning names. Nope, not related to that one. Nope, not related to that one. Nope, not related. Nope, not related. Yeah. So, you know, um, we, we, we had a lot of fun with these videos today um, and yesterday. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's. I'm really looking forward. There's a number of things I'm looking forward to. I know that you're looking forward to seeing the Palatine Village. Um, their their homes are circular, including their rooms. Yeah, everything is 
everything is circular. It's one big room inside. Mm -hmm. It's a one giant um, room. Yep. You don't call them huts. No. Hut refers to something that's temporary. Right. But I do not remember the word they use to refer to them. Right. But uh, it means home or house. Right. Um, they, the way they are built, I found this fascinating. The way they are built, they keep a certain level of smoke within the structure that helps to fight mold and mild it because of the humidity. Uh, adorable, you need 50. You need 50 adorable to go to do a live. Um, so it's 50 subs. And we're at 351 or 352. If you're not subscribed, you're missing out. Um, um, but I found that fascinating. Yeah. That, and um, it's the building at the end of Duke of Gloucester Street. Not the palace, but the one I can't remember. Right. They've built it three times. That was the palace. No. It's not the palace. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay. I'm saying we have 350. You only need 50 to go live. Map. <laughs> map of Colonial Williamsburg. She's going to pull up the map on the show. Yeah, it was 50 to go live, AD. Um, it's not the parish, is it? Mm -mm. The, yeah, it, there are certain requirements for... The capital. Capital has been burnt down. What it's been because here, I'm not trying to. There's your, that, there's yeah. your governor's palace, right? There's the Duke of Gloucester, and there's the capital. Okay, the capital. Okay, that was they the capital. built it the first time without fireplaces, right? People were complaining it was too cold, and it... no, they were complaining because of the mold, yeah. So they put fireplaces in. Then it burned. Yeah. They had to build it again. Then I don't remember what happened. But they had to build it again. This is their yeah. yeah, this is the third building. <clears throat> no worries. No worries on that. I, I I know how loud cats can be. Um yeah, it, there's been a lot of things that have been built and rebuilt. Oh yeah. Out there. Yeah. Um, the I, I thought it was kind of interesting that the House of Burgesses, I believe it was, dictated that the street be this long and yeah. this wide. And I think it had to be what seven was feet, it? seven feet wide by a mile long. No, it was long. more than seven feet 70 wide. Feet? Seventy feet. Seventy wide. feet wide seven. by a mile long for the Duke of Gloucester Street, which is the main drag through Colonial, the, through the Colonial Williamsburg. The houses had to have a ten. Per, uh, they had to be ten foot roof. a 10-foot pitch on the roof yeah. uh, and had to be 30 feet, was it 30 feet wide and 50 feet remember. long, something like that? <laughs> yeah, or I do. If anybody remembers the show Turn. I don't remember Turn. I, I watched a few episodes. I wanted to watch it all, and I didn't get the chance. Um. There's an episode where one character asks asks another character to take a letter exposing that Benedict Arnold is working for the British and take it to the post office. Right. The post office that they show is actually the courthouse. In Colonial Williamsburg. Well, a lot of that area. A, a lot, lot of, of that, that show, they use Colonial mm -hmm. Williamsburg as Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Yeah. They did the video. Your oh. battery. You're plugged in. That's what I can't understand. No, I'm not plugged in over here. You were. In. I plugged you into the lamp. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. 
I do know that I've got a low battery. Yeah. Hold on, folks. We're having a bit of a technical issue. Yep. We are having definitely a technical issue. I got you going. I think you have me. Now you got. It just came out uh, over here. Hold on. Hold on a minute, ladies and germs. Ladies and gents. Good people know you didn't have me plugged in here. You got me. No. Now I'm plugged in. You can have it pushed all the way in. Um, problem solved. It just wasn't all the way in. Sorry about that. Um, excuse the technical difficulties. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, technical difficulty resolved. Um, at least we didn't put up the color pattern and e or start, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, we there's no need for that. Uh, um, the groan you just heard was my knee being smashed by a chair. Well, I can't see the <coughs> chat for glare of the light. Thank you. I live in a cabin full of smoke, smoke and, and poppy dog hair. That sucks for real warm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you put the dog hair on the walls, Mac, you might it, it might help insulate. I'm just saying, I know how much dog shed. You might be able to, you know, gather. Yeah, I, I I know I've brushed when I had yeah. dogs previously. I used to swear I'd get enough hair off one dog to make another dog. <laughs> uh, but now I am really looking forward to the honeymoon, just because. I mean, we could have gone to a number of different places. We actually considered at one point going to Boston. Um, but I don't see the point in going to Boston when we've got a lot well, of the same history right here. A lot of the same history right here. Uh, maybe not the same history, but related history. I right. think is probably not the better more history. Yeah. Um, you know. The Battle of Great Bridge, for example, was considered the, the, the second battle of Bunker Hill. Only we won this one. We won that one. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, not a, it's not an exaggeration. when I And I promise you folks that when I'm able to get out more and, and do more once this whole chemo and surgery thing is taken care of, uh, I'm going to prove that I can literally walk out my front door and walk into history. Um, That's kind of what inspired this particular episode. It's really, him saying that. Yeah. Um, we, uh, I live a block from the, and I did not know this until recently, the Masonic Lodge on the next street over. Mm, yeah. Is the first black yeah. Masonic Lodge in Norfolk. Um. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of history here that hasn't been covered. You know, a little stuff. And then, of course, there's some of the larger stuff, too. Uh, but I, as a history buff, this is why I love living here. Um, so I really am – I want to go back to Jamestown as well because I don't remember as much about Jamestown as I do about Williamsburg. Um, plus they've got better rock candy. I'm kidding. <laughs> when you're rock candy. That's right. I love my rock candy. That's a, that, 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 don't don't judge me from my memory. Yeah, well. yeah, that well that made you a cheap date when we went to battle. That I was a cheap date, cheap, that's right. That was a great bridge. Yep, I was a cheap date that day. That she bought me two pieces two or three pieces of rock candy and I was good to go. Um just like a little kid. Yep, sure was. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, I'm kidding. And anybody that catches this video later and hears me say that Williamsburg has better rock candy than Jamestown, I was totally kidding. I have never had rock candy from Jamestown. I don't know. I can't say. Um, I want to see some of the, the, the exhibitions that they have. Like the, you know, I mean, they, well, they showed the one guy showing those kids how to fire the guns. I want to see the exhibitions on the like on the ships and stuff. Well, you know, there's another thing. Um, there is an area at Williamsburg, and this might interest you. 
Mm -hmm. There is an area at Williamsburg where you get to fire a musket. Yes, I have burned. And I that. want to do that. AD is there you go, girl. There it is. There you go. 50 ain't nothing, girl. You you can get 50 in, in, in the drop of a hat. Um, yeah, I want to fire a musket too. I'm I'm curious. I, I do too. I, I want to see how much of a kick those things really have. They say the heavier the gun, the less kick. Yeah. That's true. And one of the one of the things I was watching, they handed the gun to the female host. And told her it was about 14 pounds. The gun probably weighed about, yeah, that's probably yeah. about right. Those long rifles weren't light and they were made out of solid wood. They, I mean, you could, once you fired the shot, if you were overrun, you could swing them like an axe. Yep. You know, so I mean, they, 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 they served a dual purpose. Yeah. You know, I mean, you could do some serious damage yeah, with the butt of them. saying that they actually. When the treaty with, or not treaty, the the Treaty of Paris, the agreement with France, the treaty, the Treaty of Paris. Oh, are you talking? Or oh, wait, which the, one? The secret treaty with France, the oh. secret alliance. Pardon me. Okay. Yeah. With France. Yeah. Uh, they actually sent four of their. Engineers, blacksmiths, I believe, over I believe. to Williamsburg and worked in their blacksmith shop. And where it's built mm -hmm. is where it was actually at. Uh, I can believe that. And they were developing and showing how to mm -hmm. before battle started. Yep. Um, so we were further ahead than England knew. Yeah, uh, did, uh, Franklin had a penchant for Paris. He loved Paris. So it does not surprise me that the French were willing to. He loved Paris and Paris loved him back. He very much was a, a, a proponent of gay Paris. Um only he wasn't gay, he preferred his women. Um, but he was very fond of Paris uh, and made several, even after the war was over, uh, Franklin made several trips to Paris as a, a, a an ambassador uh, uh, to further. Well, and Washington worked very closely with several. French. Yeah, uh, uh, Lafayette, um, and um, who was only 24 at the time, by the way. I found that rather interesting when we were watching that. Now, Lafayette was, he was a French, I want to say a French general at the age of 24. And he helped us uh, retain the, win the Battle of Yorktown. Um, there are, uh, a number of French. In fact, um, do you need another key? Possibly, yes. Uh, in fact, in World War One, when Pershing went back, and this is going back a little ways, but it does tie in um, because uh, because of the French's help when they asked for help during World War One, when Pershing went to Paris. He went and he, he, we have, we have finally arrived. We are here to help, was what he said. Um, and that was a, a salute to them helping us during the revolution. Um, you know, so it, it, there was a, for a number of years, many, many years, there was a strong tie between the French and, and the United States. Even though there was the whole French and Indian War that happened, uh, you know, there was still a lot of strong ties to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that'd be nice, McGregor. 
I'll make Especially McGregor I'll, King's, King's arms. I'll, I'll make a point, McGregor, of making sure that the video is crisp, crisp and clear when I walk into the King's arms for you, buddy, and have that first pint. Um, I promise. Uh, they do actually serve uh, ale that is very closely, authentic. very authentic to what. Uh, I have had. I don't remember which inn or pub. I have had Welsh rarebit. Welsh okay. rabbit? Welsh rarebit. Ribbit? There's no rabbit in it. What is ribbit? It is toast with a beer cheese sauce. Oh, okay. I did not. That is Welsh yeah. rarebit. Never rarebit. heard of it. I have never heard of that. Yeah. I will go get you. Uh, mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, yeah, I I agree with you, McGregor. That, in fact, when we were watching the video, I, I said something to that effect uh, that I would absolutely love to, to walk into the King's Arms. Uh, for those who are interested in the paranormal, yes, they do do ghost walks during certain times of the year. Uh, the King's Arms is supposed to be haunted by a Miss Vogue, I believe it is. Vogue. Vogue. I believe it's V-O-B as in boy E. Okay, Vogue. They actually have a sign in the window that she is glad to serve you. I think it was Thursday, Thursday through Monday, Monday. Yep. and specific hours. Yep. Like 11.30 to 2 or two. something 11, like 11 that. 11 to 2 and then 5 until, until eight. 8. Yeah, and then 5 until 8. So that's how frequently she's actually seen in the pub. Um, although there are some who believe that it is not her, that they believe it was another. Right. And, yeah. But I, I, I don't know. Um, I just thought that was kind of, there's literally a sign on the window of the door that says this, you know, that tells you the hours of when you can actually, which I thought was kind of amusing. Um, you know, so, I mean, there's a, there is a lot there. If you're, if you, take the time to actually look or to do some research before going out there. I would strongly recommend that. Yeah, I have to, I, I will say that I was lucky enough to have friends when I still lived in Wisconsin to do some revolutionary war reenacting. And I I only got to do two events. Right. But it gave me an appreciation, an extra appreciation. And because of that, the first time I got to Yorktown, when I saw the one monument, I started crying. Are you talking about the monument, to the, the victory monument? There at Yorktown, but I, I know it's a monument. It's a I victory, don't know. It's a victory. I'm not monument. sure if it's a victory monument that I saw or not. But the 96 foot tall one. I don't the, know. I don't. It's been hit 19 times by lightning, which I found arbitrarily useful knowledge. There, the the victory monument at Yorktown is 96 feet tall. Um, it it is covered in different symbologies. Um. It has Lady Liberty. No, is it Lady Liberty? It was Lady, Lady uh, 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 not Lady Liberty. No. no. Um, Lady Victory. Maybe uh, at the top of it, and that it, it has been struck by lightning uh, it, it, somewhere around nineteen times, which I found rather interesting. To the point where she is missing her left hand. Yes, her left hand was actually blown off by a lightning strike. There are 13 Greek maidens surrounding the top of the near, near top of the midnight. surrounding one section of the column, one for each of the colonies. I never understood why we were so fascinated with the Greeks. It was when I believe they developed the idea of democracy, possible, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> there you go, Mac. Uh, I can't say that. I, I can't say that. I, I've drank many. I can say I've drank many of spirits. I, I will say that. Like, but he's also. Yeah. Not. Um. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's a whole nother podcast. Um. But yeah, I mean, it did, just to see that monument is, is, is even with her missing the left hand is still very impressive. It's you know marble. I mean, could you imagine trying to carve that thing out? Yeah, I mean that was it, it, it's. Don't kick me, ADL. I couldn't imagine um, the. I think it took them almost a hundred years from the time that they were going yeah, through the monument. I think it was over a hundred. Yeah. Hey, Red Mama. Red Mama, what's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? Um, we you missed you missed all the pineapple talk, Red Mama. You're gonna have to go back and watch the video. You're gonna have to go back. We we, we were talking about pineapples just a little bit ago. You missed all of it. Um. Yeah, because pineapples were real big in the in the colonial colonies. Um, they were actually they were also they were big for like a decade in England. Yeah, but they were big here for quite a while. Yeah. Um. We are. Uh, there was some other stuff we were going to cover, and uh, again, we we are flying by the seat of our pants tonight just because of the way things down this week um well we've concentrated a lot on colonial we were gonna do more on jamestown and yorktown hopefully we were gonna try to balance it out a bit more but i yeah. mean i've i'm Come not down. sure what's all at jamestown being that i've never been there i know that i know yorktown has the battlefield the museum and of course the welcome center and then there's the town itself, which has the colonial buildings. Well, it also has the surrender house. That's part of the battlefield. Right. Right. And that right. is very interesting. They have um, where they ironed out the terms of the surrender. Yes. And that is a mm. very, an interesting house. And they... Cool red mama, that would be awesome. What's that? She's got pics of her in Williamsburg. Cool, definitely. I will, yeah. Um, so red mama, this is where we're gonna it, we're planning on honeymooning in the that we're gonna do as much of the triangle during our honeymoon next year as possible. We've just got so much history and we're both history buffs. That yeah. we can't resist. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, that's it. That's, 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 the, that's the carriage. Yeah, we're planning on doing the carriage ride. Um, I thought it was interesting that I can't. Was it Cornwallis? Yes. Okay. That the day the surrender was scheduled to happen, Cornwallis basically called in sick. Yeah, he was like, I don't feel well. I'm not going to be there. you got to take it from my second in command. Which Washington refused to do. Yep. He sent his second in command to, to yeah, to receive the, the, the terms. Um, yeah, he, he was like, nope, you're going to surrender to me or I'm he right. was well, not going to take part of the Part of the terms of surrender I believe Cornwallis wanted certain honors that are normally not given to someone when they surrender. He wait. wanted special treatment. Yeah, he wanted. And Washington said, uh, no, to the, no. Yeah, he wasn't going to have, uh, Cornwallis wanted to be, he wanted to have his station recognized and, Washington was like, that's not happening, no. buddy. Uh, you lost. Um, you, you suck it up, buttercup. Um, they actually had, yeah, they had to strike their colors. 
as they marched in. There was no mu- There was no no music that they marched into. They didn't march into their own music. They marched in in silence. Um, I don't know. If, I don't know if the videos. I saw another video that they talked about that. There was no music mm-hmm. by the no, British. By yeah. the British, um, they marched in in silence uh, as the colonial army lined both sides of the of the road. Okay, y'all. Love you too, Red Mama. All right, see you. See you later, Red Mama. Love you. Take it easy. Hit the hey on your way out. Hit the like button. Appreciate you. Um, yeah. So I kind of thought that that was, you know, he wanted. <laughs> I think Cornwallis actually ordered his second in command to surrender his sword. Um, what I another thing that I found interesting was that. Washington's second in command actually had been pardoned by Washington uh, for he had lost, was it Charleston, I believe? I believe he had lost Charleston to the British. And that was a big, that was a big thing. Mm -hmm. And so it was, this was Washington's way of saying, I forgive you for that blunder. Mm -hmm. Um, But I refuse to take it from a second in command. You're my second. You know, so. Yeah, that was. I think that was gracious of Washington to do that for the second in command. Yeah, he and Washington was not. Was still kind of snubbing it in Cornwallis' face. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, it, I thought it was, I don't know. There's this, the, 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 the arrogance of the British to think, y'all lost, but you're still going to act like you, you're this high and mighty. You, you just got beat down yeah, by I'm, a bunch of ragtags. We beat you, but you still want us to bow to you like you're king? Like the royalty? That ain't happening. That ain't happening. That ain't happening. You know, we just whooped that ass, as it were. And you you wanna you wanna play games? Oh, okay. Let me show you how that is gonna work for you. Um, you know, that's just like when the Battle of Great Bridge. And I know I'm going back to the Battle of Great Bridge, but it it ties in. Um, Lord Dunmore uh, wanted. No, yeah, it was Lord Dunmore. Wanted he wanted you know certain honors, you know, but he did. He he, he had to he had to cut and run, and, it, and he ran all the way back to Norfolk, uh, to the port, and it ended up got his son, got on the ship and and almost died on the ship because the ship almost sank because they were, yeah, I mean it was it was a mess. Well, folks, that pretty much covers what we have for the Colonial Triangle. Again, if you're going to ever get out this way and visit, I would suggest doing a little research prior. There is a lot out there for you to see. Um, you plan on multiple days. Yeah, it is. A, it is a. It is a. Yeah, at least a three day for each town, minimum. Oh, I'm already planning on doing that to Mutt. Yeah, that, 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 that's already. We're going to have pictures of each other in the stockade. I actually had pictures of my children. Uh, I think it's my son. One of my children. Is, but it, yeah, my son is. I have a picture somewhere, I believe, in the stockades. Um, I believe. I know I've got pictures of them in the, 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 the helmets and breastplate. Um but I think I've got one of him in the stockade as well. Uh, but no, I have no problems with having a, my picture taken. Oh, in the stockade. Like the stocks, not the stockade. Well, the stocks. He's talking about the stocks. He's talking about the where your your head and your hands are. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he's talking about. Well, he said stockade, so okay. I was like, okay. Um, but yeah, as far as next week's show is concerned, um, 
Mm -hmm. I found a calendar of unusual American holidays. Things like National Ice Cream Day. She probably would, but we're not going to talk about that here. My mother's watching the show, and I'm not going to know. We're not going there, AD. Stop it. Um, but, you know, things of that nature. You know, talk like a pirate day if Red Mama's still floating around. Yeah, that's a national holiday here in the States. Um, there's another one in March that I'm not allowed to mention because this is a family-friendly it's show. Not on the list. But it should be. It's um, but like National Pie Day. National Pie Day. <laughs> yep, National Pie Day, National Ice Cream Day, National, you know, Talk Like a Pirate. Day. Um, Do you want a little fun fact? Sure, I love fun I'll, facts. I'll give I'll give one that I thought was interesting. Hmm. Christmas of all days hmm. is National Pumpkin Pie Day. That's funny. That's that's funny. Yeah, I'm right there with you, AD. Diabetes sucks. Well, you know, um, so we're going to do those interesting holidays. Um, just we're each going to pick a few. and Yeah. Salmon stew. And crackers chow chow is messing up my phone tap. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm not sure I've ever had... Salmon chow chow, but I've had salmon, salmon stew. Oh, salmon stew. I'm sorry. Um, but I have had salmon patties. And in fact, I got to make her some here this in the next couple of days because I promised her a couple of days ago, but I just wasn't feeling up to it. Um, so I need to make her salmon patties. Um, yes, Mutt actually knows how to make, make certain things. Um, but yeah, I, I'm kind of looking forward to next week's show. And no, it doesn't taste like dog food. No. Um, and AD, <clears throat> just because you recommended it, uh, we are considering the following week after next week's show, um, doing the Oregon Trail because I know you you mentioned that. Um, so we, we we might look into that, but I can blame them too, AD. Uh, so yeah, I know you had suggested that, so we're we're seriously considering doing that one as well. So. There is kind of a at least we've got a pin, we've got a pin in it anyway to, to to consider it. We're gonna look into it and see how much information we can find. Um, I, we told you we take we take suggestions. I just want to make sure that there's enough there to do you know do it justice. So yeah, that's always the big question: is can we find enough information that a, we can. Yeah, we've had a couple of topics that we wanted to discuss, and we just could not find enough information, so we didn't. We had to scrap them and just kind of go with a different topic. Um, but I'm pretty sure with the Oregon Trail in two weeks, uh, we should have enough. There should be enough there. Um, again, if any of you have suggestions, uh, you can reach me at Celtic Mutt 1970 at Gmail. Just put in show suggestions in the in, in the header so that in I know what the, line. in the subject line uh, and then tell me what it is you want to you know and we'll consider it uh, please keep it PG and family friendly um, and American based and American based yes we have had uh, one or two people like around St. Patty's Day want us to do the traditions of St. Patrick's Day uh, and we I'm had also guil I'm, I'm guilty of suggesting things Based on my ancestry, and he's like American based, and I'm like, darn it, I forgot. Uh, no, but she'll be watching later. Uh, Mac, she'll be watching later. She may actually, she may be, she doesn't always jump in the chat. Uh, she in fact, I don't think she's ever jumped in the chat, but I know that she does check the show out. Uh, and I did talk to her prior to the show. I wasn't even gonna mention her, I wasn't even gonna mention her, I swear, because I mention her every show, but um. <laughs> It, well, it, she did it, say she was going to be watching the show. Yeah, yeah. So it is a possibility that she is watching, and she's she's one of those four lurkers up there in the lurker attic. Um, Mom, if you are in the lurker attic, uh, do me a favor: make sure that the other three people that are up there with you in the lurker attic 
uh, clean up after themselves, take out the trash, and uh, turn out the lights on the way out. I'm putting you in charge. Did you got this? You're a um, mom. You're good at it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so mom's in charge. But um, yeah, like I said, if you guys have any suggestions at all, please just keep them American based. Uh, I hated turning down the St. Patrick's Day one, but it just it, it, this is the much American mosaic. And that I, I I I feel that needs to be where we keep it. <laughs> I know, I know, you don't like the like button. I don't quite understand why, but you have an aversion to it. I still think you should hit it for me anyway, because we're family and you love me. But you know, hey, whatever. Um, adorable. I'm wondering, do you ever watch? Um, Mr. Ballin, I have to ask. Oh, he abuses the like button. Yes, yes, he does. Yes. Yes, he does abuse the like button quite frequently. He will amazing. give you very interesting suggestions of just how to torture the like button. Mr. Ballin. B A L -L. all one word. B-A-L-L-E-N, I believe. He tells very interesting, dark and... Mysterious, mysterious stories. stories he, also that are tells, true. he also tells true, true, true crime stories as well. Mr. M. R. Period. Ballin. B. A. L. L. I don't even know that there's a period. It's just it, one word. It may be, yeah. B. A. A. B. A. L. L. E. N. Yeah, he horribly abuses the like button. He was. He's a former Navy SEAL. Uh, who was actually stationed uh, here at one time, at one point, who got into storytelling uh, because he found that he was really good at it and has done very well for himself. He actually has... He not only has videos on YouTube, he has them on Spotify, on Amazon Music. Um, yep. He's got, uh, I think there's another one that's got. I think mean, there's four or five yeah. different. He's got yeah. He's got a number of them, and I am going to. I'm going to do one more push. Uh, if you are not already subscribed, as a favor to me, if you do it for no other reason, actually no, not even as a favor to me. Do it because you like her. Go and subscribe to True Mrs. Mutt. You don't have to do it for me. You don't even have to like me. But go and subscribe to True Mrs. Mutt. Help her reach her numbers. You know, so that she can go live and do her own thing when she chooses. She has her own channel, folks. And, you know. Um, yeah, I've got about 10 subscribers right, right now. Right, right. She's got 10 subscribers. I would love to see her be able to go live. So, y'all, please, please, please. You don't even have to like me, like I said. It's okay if you don't. I'm good. Um, go over and subscribe to, uh, to her. Um, oh, and by the way, AD, just because because it's you, um, and you you requested it. She says, "Put it in the chat." Type it away. Type, type the title of it because I don't. I, I can't get to the link in. It's just yeah. true Mrs. Mutt. Yeah. Um, AD, there may be some stories, bedtime stories that you requested coming very, very, very soon over on uh, True Celtic Mutt. Yes, I'm that irritated with that individual. So there may be those coming very, very soon. There it is, folks. That's the title. Oh, it's all you had to type in in the search. She'll come right up. You'll see Sersha. You'll see the, the dog. Yeah, with you'll the see bow. the old the old Sersha. Yeah, you'll see the, the original Sersha. Um and you can't miss her. So if you're not subscribed, <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. I am glad you enjoyed that short. That was done at like three o'clock this morning. Um 
McGregor. I have a little bit of Native American in me. And according to my mother, I'm related to Custer. So that's no wonder I am self-conflicted. And after we're married, she'll have a little more Native American in her. <laughs> oh, wait. I didn't say that out loud. I am, after all, related to both companies. <laughs> I knew you were going to bring that up somewhere in the show. I wasn't planning on it, but it, it, it just worked out that way. I had no intentions. You notice when we were talking about her, I didn't mention it at all. Great, 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 great aunt. Ninth, eighth or ninth great aunt. Her sister was my eighth or ninth great grandmother. Her old, oldest sister. For those of you that have a problem with PDAs while we're doing a show, does it count if I'm holding his hand? Not that I'm doing so at the moment, but I just want to know. Is that to me, AD? Yeah. Yeah, that's to you. Um, all right, gang. We are well over the hour. It has been a lot of fun, especially this last 15, 20 minutes. Um, just gotten up. I am starting no, to get a little... you. No, okay. I will give you a call. Let me, yeah, let, once we get situated and, and set, I will give you a call. Um, look forward to seeing you all next Wednesday at 8. I want to thank those of you who... And participated in the chat. Who have put up with us? Let's face it. <laughs> Basically, who put up with us? Um, McGregor, I am thrilled that you're back. I miss you while I was trying to put this channel back together. AD, you know I have nothing but love for you. Um, I know Red Mama's not listening right now, but she will be later. Thank you for popping in. Um, Hopefully, I, Angel was in somewhere and we just didn't. For some I, reason, I hope so. Her, I hope her, so. Her chats. Well, I hope so. I know she's been in, and we haven't seen her chats lately. Yeah, it's been kind of a little. It's, yeah, we've been having some issues with that. Uh, so, if we've missed anybody, it, it is not intentional by any stretch of the imagination. Um, wait a minute. It might. What, wait a minute. What might be a multi-stream? The Oregon Trail. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, we can definitely, I mean, we can break it up. Um, oh, AD says Wednesdays are better for her. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, she could have been a lurker, AD, but... Not generally. Not she generally. Didn't. She generally comments, and I know the last couple of times we've had a show, she's... Asked us if we could and see I the comments. I think what I forgot to do, and it, I, again, if I did this, uh, and I'm sure I did, um, I will apologize to those of you who may have commented that we didn't see it. I did not, and I just realized I didn't do it. I did not hit the live chat. I hit the other one. Uh, so live chat was not on. Um, while these are live chats, the, the live chat, when you, when you hit that, it brings up everybody's chat. And I think I missed hitting that when we when I double checked it. Okay. Um, You'll have to show me that yeah, little trick. So I, I yeah, know that's what fine. To do. This is forgive me. This was my first time setting everything up yeah, by myself. Actually, so. she set it up by herself tonight, folks. I'm proud of her. She had not. She had been wanting to learn how to set this up, and I needed to take care of something, and so I told her to go for it, and I would fix if there was anything that needed to be fixed. That is the only thing that she missed, and I even missed it. Um, so kudos to Mrs. Mutt for setting this one up all by herself. So I'm extremely proud of her. She did a good job. Um, we will see you I guys. I even found the thumbnail. She did. The thumbnail was even her idea for the show. All right, gang, we're going to go. Um, I'm starting to get a little tired. AD, I will call you. Give me about 10 or 15 minutes. Um, and I will give you a jingle. Uh, till next week, gang. Be good to yourselves and each other. And Thank we'll, you, AD. And we will see you all next week. Bye, guys. Bye, gang.